Hello Canada. The Prairie Dogs are at it again. Green and white meets blue and gold. It is the 16th annual Banjo Bowl. They played this 15 times, but never have they played it with first place on the line. Told us yesterday, starting to roll again, and so is Stradler. Stradler taking off, close to a first down. Johnny Augustine right beside Stradler for some blocking help. Here comes the blitz. Stradler delivers. Double tight end set here for the Bombers as they keep it on the ground for the replacement for Andrew Harris. Coming over to Saskatchewan. Strebler goes end zone. Adams jump ball. Penalty flag. This will take the ball down to the one yard line. Ed Ganey basically blanketing Darvin Adams. But an interference in the end zone. Bombers will go first and goal from the one. Will this be Strebler time? Seven touchdowns as a quarterback this season. Make it eight. What a start for Winnipeg. It was before his time, before a lot of people's time. We don't know why we hate them, but we do. And it adds a lot of fun to the game. Cody Fajardo, who has had a most outstanding player-like season for the Riders. His breakout season, and that's why. That's interesting. Fajardo goes the other way, looking field side. And coming back to the football, once again, is Moore right at the first down marker. Well, he was feeling it along with John Ryan, who holds for him. And they went up in the stands and celebrated in a big way. And why not in the Labor Day Classic? Huge win and big kick, and here we are today. First series, second quarter, Darvin Adams yards after the grab. Had a tough time trying to find his footing. Second and eight, Strebler hangs in. There he is again. And there's a penalty flag. They might have got a little too close to the grill. Major foul, face mask. There it is. Saskatchewan number 49. 15-yard penalty enforced from the end of the run and a first down. In his way, Strebler wants to tuck it and go with it himself, and he gets hit hard. <laughs> but then he dusts the rider. Strebler still on his feet, bashing, crashing, gashing his way down to the 10 yard line. Oh my, Chris Strebler. And that'll get him jacked up right here now. He had too high basically defending, and then he found a little space in front of him, and then it was off to the races. First, Micah Johnson, and then Cameron Judge, and now get off of me, Mike Edom. Runs by Moncrief and picks up major first down, excites this football crowd. Streveler, the leveler. Oh Look my at God. him. Just get off of me. 21 yard raw for Streveler. A guy who was a receiver at Minnesota, then a quarterback at South Dakota. Throws it. Touchdown, Daniel Peterman, who loves the Banjo Bowl. Two career touchdowns and both in the Banjo Bowl. John Ryan played in the first Banjo Bowl. Yeah. 16 years ago. Still got a monster leg. This is a shortish kick. We'll draw oh, no oh. yards. Look out. Grant's going to go. See ya. See you. Yeah, he does a great job of playing this and catching it in the air, and he's fearless right there, and he just splits him. Breaks the three arm tackles right there. John Ryan tries to uncut it, and he's off to the races, and you're not catching him. Oh, boy, that breaks this one wide open early. Pichardo, oh. nobody there is hammered. Ball loose. Who's got it? It's Blue Bomber football. Willie Jefferson. And that bomber front feasting today. Second and short. Looked like he almost wanted to take a oh, knee he's of some kind. He now he's got it. the edge. Gets it back to Peter. There he goes. Mr. Banjo Bowl down to the five. Straveler, left side. Touchdown. Right now, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are reeling. A number that Fajardo used to wear. There is Bailey once more, puts it to his left hand and wants people to take notice and remember number 88. And so far today, he's done well. Strabler. Got him. him. Look at that. Got him. He's got him. And Johnny Augustine to the end zone. Get there. Did he? Put him up. Turn it down. Winnipeg. Yeah, and 
this is a nice fake by Strebler and a fly sweep and then he spots the ball perfectly and Gainey doesn't know the ball's coming over his shoulder and then Augustine makes a nice shoestring catch and then finds amazingly finds a way to the end zone and stretches out here as he runs away. Did he get in. Oh yes Bravo oh, that oh, look at that tight. right at the cone at the pylon. Boy, that's tight. But look at the bottom line right there 35 4 for Chardo. First and ten. Here's the rush once more. Spins out of the tire. And Fajardo able to race for a first down. Here they come once more. Fajardo drops it in. Trying to end this dry spell for the riders. Look out again. Stepping out, Stepping tire, out right? again and going against the grain. And Karan Moore down inside the ten. Best efficiency numbers in the red zone. Second trip to the Scores on the red zone today. Trying to get end zone. It's all Fajardo once more. He'll score untouched. Saskatchewan has found the end zone and something to cheer about in this edition of the Banjo Bowl. Point efforts. They need tons of points here. Add to no. nice play. Fajardo now firing down the rail and a great catch made. And big yards, one of the biggest plays of the day. She uh, Loud. Uh oh, that time he spun right into the sack. Four Winnipeg sacks today. They lay back. Fajardo goes over the top. Wow, picked up, picked up 22 of those. Sun glaring right in at Bombers defense and they're bringing heat. And Shaq Evans and it's picked up. Guess who it is? Guess who it is? Winston Rose, the CFL. Interception leader has number eight. And the Winnipeg Blue Bombers take the 16th Banjo Bowl. And a Banjo Bowl bounce back. They're still going.